Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today we're going to do something a little interesting. I just want something to show you guys. So we just go here, load this game up. Yeah, I have the fan translation. NX presents Yuji Hori, Toriyama, Sugiyama, all that fun stuff. Do you hear that? Is that orchestral music? <laughs> yep, there's a mod that just recently came out for Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3. They're currently working on 5 and 5 right now. That mods in the orchestral music into the Super Famicom versions of Dragon Quest 1 and 2 and Dragon Quest 3. So, we finally have it. Versions of Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3 that have orchestral music. That's amazing right there. And let's just load up Dragon Quest 1 just so you guys can see it, and then we'll move on to Dragon Quest 2, and then we'll move on to Dragon Quest 3. What can I say? <laughs> it's just beautiful to hear this kind of music, and it's just amazing that we finally got to a point where we can have a version of Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3 with orchestral music. So let's just start a new adventure. Let's just do a random character name, let's just call this guy one. And then we'll just do fast. What can I say? It's really great music overall. Koichi Sugiyama never disappoints when it comes down to his orchestral compositions. And as you can tell right here, it definitely sounds amazing playing on the Super Famicom with the MSU mods, which, yeah, this is basically what it is. There's technically been other versions of this particular modification on other games, and it's called an MSU hack, because some of these um, EverDrives has this particular chip known as the MSU chip, and people have been able to exploit that chip to get higher quality music within the games or add in FMVs into the games as well, which Dragon Quest 1 doesn't have the FMVs, but it does have the orchestral music as you can hear right now. But if you want one with like them adding in FMVs and what have you, highly recommend trying out Tro highly recommend trying out Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger definitely is a case where that is indeed where they add in orchestral music alongside adding in the FMVs from the PlayStation 1 version. But definitely when I learned about these MSU hacks. I think I remember seeing Mega Man X was the PSP music put into it, and I was thinking about it because at that time I was getting to Dragon Quest. I was just thinking to myself, wouldn't it have been cool if we can do this with Dragon Quest because Dragon Quest obviously has all this orchestral music, and a lot of versions of Dragon Quest games don't have an orchestral music version where you can just have the orchestral music available to you. I'm just going to do a club. And then we'll just do some clean clothes. I'm just listening to this is just amazing to hear. There's nothing more I can say about it. So let's just move around. Let's get into a battle. And then we got slime. And I changed it to where it uses the usual sound effects from Dragon Quest games nowadays, the MIDI sound effects. But the person who modded those sound effects in didn't put in the right particular one where it's the other version of that win battle. But it's fine, it's whatever. Onyx mistake. Nothing to get too riled up about. I'm not gonna do too much. We're just gonna go down here and just let you guys listen to the music. Which already amazing to hear that this is on the Super Famicom and also via a particular chip from EverDrive that you can mess around with. So 
And of course, as a fan of Dranquist music, this music is just already a great listen. Technically, don't need to be here, but I just like going down here for the fuck of it. And just so you guys can hear the cave music, because we're not going to do too much, we're just going to go around, just fight monsters, and also show off what happens when you die, all that, all that stuff right there. Because they definitely went deep in when it came down to what music they wanted to replace and what they wanted to add in. Which, I'm not gonna go too far, just get out of here. Okay, now we're out. Show you guys the sound effect when you go to bed. Go into the town. And we got that. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go somewhere where I just I can just die. See what, just so you guys can see what happens when when you die. Which of course you're probably you're going to hear the orchestral music without a doubt. And then we got got to level up. Kind of badly timed and whatever, but it's fine. I think they can probably improve it over time. So. Not a big deal. Six gold. Then we're gonna go up to that shrine there. So you guys get to hear what the shrine theme sounds like. It's all the orchestral stuff. What if I don't get killed by this guy, but probably will. Dead. Yeah. And then we got the death theme orchestral. So anyways, um, we're going to move on to Dragon Quest 2, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, we're back to Dragon Quest 2 right now. And we're just going to do the intro sequence, show you that, and do a little bit of exploring. Just hear some of this amazing orchestral music, and then we'll move on to Dragon Quest 3. Which... Already, this is an amazing piece, by the way. This thing does can go a little bit long. But as you guys know already, right, I don't like Dragon Quest 2. The Super Famicom version is a little bit better, but there's still things that I have an issue with that version. Just still a little bit of unbalancedness and the fact that you still need an, a map to look around where you need to go. Which, quite honestly, if that one small island wasn't there, I probably wouldn't need a map, but because that little small ass island was there, Literally need a map to see where that little nutsack island is. 
but the music here it's just amazing to hear I'm very sad when it came down to the Switch version they took this song out they kind of just made it more similar to the NES version of the intro which is fine but I kind of want to hear this song here but it's whatever And then, boom, boom, boom. And this was in this part of the song was in Dragon Quest XI, the orchestral version in Eleven S, which really good song, and really set the mood in that particular scene. But I would like to hear that full song, but it's whatever. Oh, that guy's dead. And, the, and then the king's gonna die, and the princess is gonna turn into a dog for whatever reason. Well, he's gonna. The king is gonna put up a fight, but then these are gonna, gonna mess him up. And then, and correctly, but it's whatever. I think there's a newer version of this. Sound pack, but I'll uninstall it later. Because technically, this was in beta in March, early 2022. Both Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3, they were testing for people to see whether or not they can put the mods in. And I was able to try it out at that time. I was actually planning to report something, something similar to this video for you guys, but ultimately, I went against it because. Obviously, when it came down to downloading the beta, you have to sign into Celdix, you have to create an account, and you couldn't just download it right away. You have to go out and be a member and download that way. So I decided, okay, they're keeping this private for now. They want to make sure that all the kinks are dealt with, and they're still updating this as I'm aware at this moment in time, and they've definitely done good work to make sure that these work properly. The castle theme, just orchestrally for two, is just beautiful to listen to. And they move this guy, and then he's gonna die on in front of the king on his throne room. We're gonna head out. We're gonna hear this amazing orchestral rendition of A Lonely Youth. Which is beautiful to listen to. And we're not gonna spend too much time because we spent a lot of time in that intro sequence. We're just gonna walk around, beat some enemies, and just listen to some music, and then we're just gonna move on to Dragon Quest 3. Get out of here. Ah, such a beautiful song to listen to. And then we got the big band going in, playing.
He literally did not equip this item for me. Okay, let's do one more battle and then we'll move on to Dragon Quest 3. And of course, when it comes down to it, if you guys are interested in downloading this for yourself and trying out the mods, I will provide links down below for you guys to download. It'll take you guys to Seldix, and then you guys can go and download all these amazing mods right here. And it's not just Dragon Clash, like I said, there's all Chrono Trigger, there's Zelda, there's Mega Man. A lot of stuff you can download and mess around for yourself. There we got that guy. Anyways, we'll be back again. This time, we'll be doing Dragon Quest 3. Alright, we're back again with Dragon Quest 3. And we're gonna play on my finished file right here. I basically beat the game already. I did all the post-game stuff on this particular file, which... If you guys know already, I'm planning to do my eventual Dragon Quest 3 video, where I basically review the game, talk about the game, why I really like about the game. Not really a lot to dislike about this game. So, that's why I'm just saying I'm just going to praise the game. Though there may be some critiques, but who knows? We'll see what happens. But yeah, you're that overworld theme. Got my, I have two sages and I have a thief. And I'm not just I'm not going to go into my house because there's a little spoiler thing that pops up there, so don't want to show that. Then we got Adventure. So here's one little oddity about this. They haven't addressed this yet. When you're on the ship, it doesn't play the ship theme until you get yourself into a battle. And then when you win that battle, then they'll start playing the, the ship theme. So we're just going to do a battle quickly, just so you guys can hear that, that beautiful ship theme. And this one, they didn't, they didn't do the one mod that goes on and changes it with the regular Dragon Quest elephants effects. But yeah, here we are. We have the ship theme here. Anyways, let's, let's fly on the bird. And... This one just plays Heavenly Flight just like that, which amazing song. Just one of the Magma Opus songs from Sukiyama. Because it just has a good intro, a good middle portion, and a great end section for the song. It's just amazing to listen to, in my opinion. And it's just no wonder when Dragon Quest 8 came out, they just decided, let's just use Heavenly Flight again. None of our flight themes was on the same level as this particular song. And same thing goes with Dragon Quest 11 when they reused it in the post game. It's just a beautiful song overall. Anyways, let's land quickly. I'm gonna go to the ghost ship. So. Definitely, no, 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 I didn't want to get back on the bird. <laughs> love, love heavily flight, but I'll need to hear it multiple, that many times. So let's go to Romania. I know it says Romilly, but I'm just referring to them by the official Japanese names. What, was, what item was it that let you know? Oh yeah, Sierra's Bone. 1970, yeah. And now no music played. It. It's fine. Alright, there's our ghost ship. And then here we are. Ghost ship, and then it plays the ghost ship theme, which definitely has a creepy vibe to it. And I just prefer listening it to... Oh yeah, I'll face this guy right here. Which... Pretty sure I can move his ass. Yeah. And I just did. <laughs> Alright. 
it definitely has a very creepy vibe to the song. But I never really liked the other versions that came out for it. The chip tune, the chip tune on NES, it was kind of just eh. And then the Super Famicom version of the song, that one was also okay, but I didn't really had much affinity for that song in particular. In chip tune, in the Super Famicom version of the song. The MIDI, the MIDI version of the song is fine, but if I have a preference, it's going to be listening to listen to it like this. What's the orchestral music? Definitely a great song overall. Let's get out of here. I don't have enough MP right. I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, I should have enough MP right here. Then we're gonna go into the tower here, so you guys can hear that tower theme. Great song overall. Now all these weak ass weaklings here. Pretty sure we can just Yeah. We're super high level anyways, so. I don't have any spells, nothing. That's fine. But anyways. Got that cape theme. That the, which, always like the cape theme and just very mysterious and what have you. I don't think I got any of the items here because I think I felt like getting them. But yeah. Just a couple of things I want to show off. And technically, the, the version, the music that they have here. That they have all set up, it's technically considered to be a beta in their eyes because technically they're still working on some kinks to make sure that everything plays normally as they should. And you know, we got the shrine theme here. One of my favorite versions of the shrine theme. Or Drying Quest 3. But yeah. Anyways, so as you guys can tell, this is Dragon Quest 1, 2 on Super Famicom and Dragon Quest 3 on Super Famicom, all modded and with orchestral music. If you guys are interested, like I said, links are down below for you guys to go on and download. And if you like this video, leave it a like, comment down below, tell me what you guys think about this particular mod. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. Take care.